Yes, I have workspace again. Oh. Any of you that have a workspace or a bench or anything, really any of you that work on any sort of Nerf project in general, probably have encountered the issue of clutter and it consuming your desk or whatever space you use to work on. I got to the point where for the last few months, I had been down to less than the size of this cutting board on my desk. Everything was just encroaching. I kept having to shove things back and around. And, and today I just kind of decided I, I, I can't, I can't do this. I can't work on anything. There's no space. So I spent the afternoon cleaning this off and, and getting rid of some stuff. And well, still a lot to do, but I uh, just, I'm so happy to have space. I can't, I can't overstate that. I really, I want to get some stuff set up, like a little bit of pegboard here on this wall right next to the, the desk, maybe to hold, hang some tools because my tool, uh, the, the bin that has all the tools is starting to get fairly full to the point that I can't fit much more in there and it's harder to find things and, and all of that. So I, I, I'm excited to, to, get us all set up so that it's nice and easy to use. And I don't, I gotta try and avoid falling into that clutter zone again, at least here and everywhere if possible. But let's, uh, let's talk about what I want to get started on today. Yes, the Kronos, I mentioned it last time. Uh, I just been putting this off uh, and the bump from the Patreon poll was enough to say, let's, let's do this. Let's get it going. Uh, there's some other stuff I kind of want to maybe wait for, for this, but at the same time, I kind of just want to get this going. So I'm thinking we just go ahead and do this. I don't know that I needed to pull that out. Oh no, I did. Okay. There is not a screw underneath. Okay. That's good. So we've got the Fabo Kronos that we uh, have some parts for. While I'm unscrewing this, kind of talk through, I guess, the things that we're going to use. I Maybe I should grab those things and put them up here while we're talking about them. I think that's, I think that's most of it. So what we've got is some wonderful parts, some great speed loaders and holders for the speed loaders from the uh, foam technician. And we've got uh, one that, two that foam technician himself sent me and one that Bobololo sent in his uh, ridiculous care package uh, a little while back, uh, along with a cut piece of K26, but when we were at End War, the people over at Containment Crew snuck one of these ProFit Springs, one of their new products, in uh, to a package for me to take a look at. So we've got that to mess around with as well. So that's going to go in here because they're supposed to be like specifically cut for the Kronos and set up for the Kronos so everything's all smoothed out and finished the right way. So we're going to see how that goes. Now, uh, I was, oh, there goes some pieces on the inside that we'll, uh, I don't know, we'll figure out what those are for later. There's plenty of guides up online, so if I need to, I can find all the information on what goes where. Um, then we've also got the Grihas grip that... Uh, I was actually part of the test group for and got to see the changes and the iterations and, and uh, what, in, what went into designing this blaster, which was definitely, definitely cool. And uh, the end product came out nicely. So we've also got one final piece, a door delete from uh, from Technician that's actually 
glow in the dark filament, which is kind of cool. So we're going to see how that looks on this. If it doesn't quite look right with the paint job, we may swap it out for something else. But I kind of like the idea of that little glow in the dark bit. So I want to I want to see how it sets up. But that's about kind of where we're at for the Kronos. Uh, I was made aware of a part, or actually, uh, yeah, a part that will allow you to use long shot springs, but I don't know that I want to go that route. So we're gonna start with the ProFit spring, but I don't know, we'll, we'll see. I don't want this necessarily to be like a monster to prime. I want this to be a nice, easy to use blaster for whatever game I take it to, if I get to the point where, you know, maybe I want to do like a Chrono Mag or something like that mod, then that long shot spring may make a bit, bit more sense. But until then, I think we're going to stick with this. So now that we've got, oh, let's maybe unscrew all the screws. But with this, we've got this. Oh boy. That feeling up, oh, up oh, and springs, springs everywhere. All right, so we've got something still screwed in somewhere. There we go. There we go. Oh man, I should have thought. What if Biggs did parts for this? I feel like I've seen a trigger done, but what about the front piece too? That would be sweet. Anyways, we've got the blaster open, we've got all the parts, and uh, I can now take everything out, and we can get to work sanding this thing down. You know, I probably should have taken a picture where everything goes, but, uh, welp, such is life. Right, make sure we don't lose any springs or any of this stuff. Now, the nice thing is there's a screw in here, right down here, that if I don't drop my screwdriver, I can unscrew, and the two parts, the two shell pieces come off, and I can keep my nice stock looking grip, which I plan on doing because I, I actually like the way stock, um, stock grips feel and look they give a nice accent to blasters uh when they're painted so i i while i did it on the fabu strife and it didn't look bad there's just a certain feel i i don't know what, what other way to put it uh for the way that the stock unpainted un clear coated grip feels so at least for this blaster, we're going to leave it as is. But I think at this point, I'm going to get to sanding. And we'll see where we end up in terms of taping things off and what we want to paint where. <laughs> We'll get back to the Kronos when we have more accomplished on it. I'm currently waiting for something for it. You'll see when the next video on it hits, but I'm excited about it. Uh, that said, I do want to talk about the footage you just saw, that little clip where I did a little twirly thing and spin move while reloading in a BTA match. And uh, it's not something I thought about consciously when I did it. I just kind of did it while reloading and it got me thinking afterwards, I've done this more than once, why am I doing it? And so I, I took some time, thought about it, and I, I came to a realization of why I think I did it and what the reason was I found was interesting and worth uh, sharing, I suppose, because of that. So in the footage, I am running towards Kyle on uh, Team Davis and we're both out of darts. We both empty our mags. And uh, important to note, before we even go further, 
if he was not out of ammo and had to reload as well, it's like a 99% chance I would have just been tagged out before I completed my reload. So all of this hinges on that. I've done this several times, uh, sometimes around cover, sometimes in the open, but the crux of it, I believe, is the momentum of your movement. So I was moving towards him and, uh, oh, well, there goes the stock. Uh, was moving towards him and I have my blaster up and he's slightly on my right. So I have to move this way to shoot at him, to try and tag him. I'm also running in this direction. So if I'm running in this direction and I have to reload, that changes where my body's at and it also changes where he's going to be by the time I end that reload. Now, unless I stop in my tracks and stand still while reloading, his position is going to change relative to my position and that's going to adjust where my blaster needs to be aimed. Now, what I could do is while I'm reloading, I pull out my mag and I put it in and then I shift back to readjust to where he is. Or I try and run sideways, which slows you down and is a little more awkward and uncomfortable and not as fluid. The option I went with, just instinctively, is when my hand came out to start my reload, to reach back behind my back, that generated just the smallest bit of momentum to keep get my body going that way. So I think instinctively, my body just went with it. And it just went with it, and I was able to get the movement going, start the reload, and as I was finishing, come back around and have my body moving towards him as a target rather than having to stop my momentum and readjust it. So I just thought that was kind of interesting that it was an intuitive thing and uh, not something I anticipate doing very often, if ever at all again, but it was still just funny to me to see the footage of because it's not pretty looking by any means, but it just, it got me thinking. So I wanted to share that with all of you. Um, again, had he had darts in his mag, I would have been tagged out before I finished the reload. So it's not like some magic thing that's gonna make your reloads faster or make you, you know, this unstoppable force. No, it's just this little goofy thing that my body did that I wanted to figure out why it did it. So that's that. Um, are there any things that you have done, you've kind of done on accident or without thinking that ended up working for you in games? I don't know, let me know down below in the comments. I'm definitely uh, curious to see what all of you have to say. But I think that's what we're gonna call it for today. We did a fair amount with the Kronos, uh, talking about that and showing what's gonna go into it. And uh, I'm excited to get that going more forward in the future. And uh, I've got to work on some Blaster Tag Association stuff. We are getting ready for our uh, end of season tournament for the Bay Area Foam Sports League, which is our local league for the BTA. So we're getting that all prepped. And then we're also getting ready for Ragnar Oktoberfest in October, which I'm stoked about. If you're not gonna be there, I'm sorry. Uh, if you are gonna be there, I hope you're gonna be competing in the tournament because that's what I'm looking forward to the most. But if you are new to the channel and you uh, enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button for more in the future. We do, we're up to about three videos a week now on average, which is uh, fun. Hopefully you're enjoying them, let me know. But with that said, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jangular, and I'll see you next time.